Ukraine takes revenge for murdered civilians. Crimea was hit. Policemen were killed in Dagestan. The Ukrainian ATA CMS missile hit the beach near Sevastopol. The missile was clearly flying through the Russian air defense systems, military unit or airfield flying towards the target. The Russian defense systems sent a missile to the beach. The people have perished. So the beach season in Krim is about to fade. Now it is said that this is a terrorist attack although the rocket did not fly to the beach. And then there was Dagestan, where they killed over 15 policemen. Russia knows that this is the axis of inhuman terrorist attacks and flames. Ukrainians ask, do you think that if you hit civilians steadily, there will be no payment? This is possible for you and innocent people suffer, either way or indirectly. Footage from a popular Black Sea resort near Sevastopol purportedly shows the moment that the long-range missile armed with cluster munitions exploded in the air. People at the beach in an area called Uchkoevka in the northern part of the port city. Some of the visitors to the packed beach can be seen looking at the sky, while others are seen running in panic in search of shelter as the sound of an exploding missile can be heard in the clip. Those who were at the water's edge were hit the hardest as parts of cluster munitions flew toward the beach from the sea, according to Oleg Komarov, the head of Sevastopol's emergency services unit. There were shrapnel wounds. We evacuated those who were seriously injured first, he said. Doctors stopped the bleeding and handed them over to the ambulance crews. According to media reports, local residents helped evacuate people during the attack. One rescuer, despite being injured by shell fragments himself, continued to escort civilians to shelter. Once the explosions were heard, he helped tourists to hide in the back room of the beach bar. A local bus driver helped transfer people who had been injured in the attack from the area, local media said. Sevastopol Governor Mikhail Razvozeev said that Russian air defenses had repelled a Ukrainian missile attack. He added, citing preliminary data, that five aerial targets had been shot down, though numerous shell fragments fell in the coastal area, causing injuries and fires in two locations. The Russian Defense Ministry said in a statement that four ATA CMS were destroyed mid-air, while the fifth sustained damage from incoming fire, which caused it to deviate from its course and detonate over the city. The strike targeting civilians in Sevastopol will not go unanswered, the ministry stressed. Ukrainian sea baby drones of the Ukrainian army installed more than 15 underwater mines near Crimea, thus hitting four Russian warships. These are the corvette Samum, the patrol boat Pavel Derzhavin, a large tugboat and one of two modern mine countermeasures ships. After the first use of naval drones, the Russians built large barriers at the entrance to the port in Sevastopol, which made it almost impossible to carry out drone strikes. Therefore, the team of Ukrainian intelligence head Vasily Malik came up with an alternative option, installing sea mines, says a Wall Street Journal article about the work of naval SBU Sea Baby drones. The so-called bottom mines are made of plastic, weigh about 180 kilograms and are difficult to detect because they sink into the mud of shallow waters. According to Wall Street Journal, the Ukrainian intelligence tracked the routes of naval ships and civilian transport for a month and a half before sending Sea Baby to plant two mines. On September 14, the SAMA missile corvette was blown up by one of the mines that made a hole in its stern. As a result, the ship is still in dry dock undergoing repairs. Over the next few weeks, Sea Baby traveled back and forth, covering more than 3,000 nautical miles, laying about 15 more mines, the newspaper writes. For a long time the Russians could not understand what was going on, but after the large patrol boat Pavel Derzhavin pierced the side at the entrance to Sevastopol Bay on October 11, minesweepers and divers combed the area for mines, but apparently found nothing, since October 13, Pavel Derzhavin was redirected to another port for repairs, but when leaving Sevastopol Bay, it again encountered a mine. A large tugboat sent to rescue him also hit a mine, and he himself had to be towed back to port. According to the Wall Street Journal, remote mining carried out by SBU Sea Baby drones is the first example of such successful mining in the world.